Good afternoon to you. I'm hoping that you've had a fantastic weekend. My name is Prosper Tarubinga, by the way, the founder and CEO of Live Long Digital, your one stop shop for everything digital marketing, and also the creator of the online prosperity blueprint, your four step system that's designed to help you start, scale, and grow a business that's profitable and enjoyable. As you would notice, for the next 30 minutes, we're going to be sitting here and talking about how you can actually earn a little bit more money with less struggle. And today we're actually talking about how you can gain a lot of online street credibility while you're actually playing by your own rules. I see Sharon has just tuned in. Thank you so much for tuning in to this wonderful episode of the Lunch and Learn. And I see Renee has just joined us. Thank you, my love. Okay, so obviously it was the weekend and today is a Monday, wherever you are, or it would be when you're watching this. So just let me know. Uh, in the comments below where you are tuning in from so that I can understand what sort of time zone you are. All right. So you might be um, coming through a really fantastic weekend like I did, or sometimes weekends are not usually the best. And I can see Matthew is tuning in. Thank you so much, buddy. All right. So as entrepreneurs, sometimes we don't know when to switch off or sometimes we don't know when the on and off switch is. So I posed a question um, over the weekend and I was like, when does your week start? Some people came up with Sunday. Some people came up with Monday. Whatever it is, whatever floats your boat, as long as you are um, doing what's making you happy. And Vina says uh, right here in Melbourne, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope we're going to get that car client that we're trying to get behind the scenes. I know you're the person for the job. That's why I tagged you in there. Okay. So, you know, sometimes, uh, Lewis, thank you so much for tuning in, buddy. You know, sometimes when we are, you know, blazing through this whole trail of being an entrepreneur, we are being exposed to a lot of you know, influences and people telling us what to do. There's people like Mike Blackenship that take your, um, you know, you know, you know, that help you get published in, um, you know, bigger uh, tabloids or bigger blogs. There's people like Bevan. There's people like Eric that would help you in an unconventional way. Are you actually exposing and opening yourself up? to your networks and the people that are around you because within them, that's where your credibility lies. Within them, those are the people that will talk about you, reference you, and even tag you in posts online, okay? Alex, thank you so much for tuning in, all right? So sometimes, you know, when you're brazen, you know, you, you blah, 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 Monday, Monday mouth, look at the Monday mouth. You know, when you, you're going through this whole entrepreneurial journey, you know, you, you have to throw the rule book out because first of all, some of the rules that are set up, they were set up by somebody no smarter than you. Some of the rules that are, uh, that are put out for you to follow, they were, you know, being followed by the people that had no internet, that had no connections that you actually have today. All right. So, you know, I went out um, over the weekend and um, I bought books, 14 books that I bought all for $14. All right. See what, what, what difference that, that, that makes. People are throwing out these books at a secondhand bookshop, all right? And I just went in and I bought them. Most of them are really, really good books. Most of them are, are, are books that can be, you know, utilized and they're still relevant up until today, okay? Who says Amazon is the only legit way to go out and buy these books? Who says um, that, you know, uh, Barnes & Noble is the only place that you can go and purchase these books? So what that told me is... We might just be following things that are no longer serving us. We might just be following trends and treats and, 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 and ways of doing things that are no longer serving us. All right. I was looking at um, my newsfeed, somebody talking about how to get um, a lot of people to come to your Snapchat. And I was just thinking to myself, wait a minute. Didn't Snapchat just get disbanded by Facebook and Instagram all at the same time? All right. So some of these things 
most of the things that everybody is trying to impart on you, they're probably only just learning it or just learned it or they're just experimenting to see how it's all going to work. All right. So why are you not trusting your own instinct and trusting your own gut if you want this business to actually work? All right. I'm not saying that stop um, chasing all, um, you know, reading or, or, or following other people that have done these things. But most of these things, everybody's also trying to find out what could work for them. All right. What is stopping you from blazing your own trail as an entrepreneur and creating your own set of rules? That way you now get emotionally invested in the product that you're creating you get emotionally invested in the book that you're writing you get emotionally invested in the most important thing your customers all right you really 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 have to study the people that are going to be paying you the money because if you don't and if you follow what somebody else's results were, that person did not have Benny in their newsfeed. That person did not have Jamie in their newsfeed. If I ignore Jamie right now, what good am I doing to myself? If I ignore Chris right now, what good is anybody's agenda going to be good for my own business? All right. So pretty much the, the, the world is changing rapidly and making business decisions sort of based on outmodeled assumptions may mean that you are actually being left behind. You might think you're going ahead. You might think you, you, you are, you are, you know, getting all this information, but you are forgetting the actual person who is paying you money for you to enjoy the lifestyle, the luxuries and everything else that matters to you. All right. You are not instilling the trust in your customers. You are not instilling the credibility for them to refer your work to other people that actually will pay from you. All right. So sometimes instead of you just really, really following, um, you know, other people that might be gurus, find out how am I serving my clients? What is it that they want from me that I can provide to them and only me can provide? That way, you now start carving out your own path and credibility in the market. Because if you're yet just another copycat, if you're yet just another has been, my friend, you're not going to stand out and that's going to annoy you. That's going to annoy your customers or anybody else that's going to hear about your brand and all your services. Okay. So, you know, I think it's about time where we now really need to give ourselves credit. All right. Right. Look at the things that are around you. you you've grown all this hair by yourself. Nobody came in and, and, and grew it for yourself. You're breathing all by yourself. You're thinking all by yourself. You're watching this video and, 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 and you know, deciding to either share it or comment all by yourself. All right. There's a lot of credit you should give yourself before you start putting other people on a pedestal. I'm, that's why I'm detoxing from a lot of groups. That's why I'm detoxing from a lot of friendships that are no longer serving me because you know what? People change. All right. I, I've noticed how people change in, in, in the weirdest ways. Um, not the weirdest, but the cutest ways in the last two years. When my little girl was born, I, I, I could, um, hold her in my arms and then I could put her on here and I'm on the phone and I'm working and everything else like that. But yesterday I tried to pick her up and she was screaming and kicking as if I'm not even her dad. She's changed. She's no longer that little, nice, cuddly little girl. She's now independent and she wants to run by herself. Now, can you imagine we as adults do not really show that significant growth. But if you really have a kid, you'll notice that people change in time. So are you catering for what your customers needs are from the time that you went in and said, OK, this is my um, this is my customer avatar. Have you catered for that client who might have changed their needs, their wants, their hopes, their aspirations? And have you looked into how can you actually serve them? Because at the end of the day, we might be following somebody else's, um, you know, method that worked in 2008. It's fine. But the client we want to deal with is the client we want to stay with up until the next two years. You now got to have vision 2020 in order to keep the clients that you have today. 
all right? Because people don't buy what you have. People buy what they're going to become after using what you have, all right? So I'm, I'm generally an SEO expert. If I came into the market and said, hey, listen, let me help you be featured on Google, none of you guys will be paying any particular attention to my work. Nobody would care, you know why? Because every single day you're being bombarded by an email or a phone from somebody who say, hey, excuse me, can I do your SEO? And it's annoying. I understand that. But if I came in with a blueprint, with a way that you can utilize your, the, the, the resources you already have into a business that's profitable and enjoyable, that's the reason why my work is unique. That's the reason why I show up every day for 30 minutes to make sure that you too will have a business and money with less struggle. Now, what are you not giving yourself credit for? And what are you forgetting about your customers that you need to pay particular attention to? Because somebody else is out there studying them. Somebody else out there is giving them what they want. And with the attention span we have for our customers now, you will soon lose credibility if you don't show up. All right. So what we're really talking about today is really gaining the credibility from the people that are actually paying you money. All right, so that you are not just a one click wonder, so that you're not lost in the noise of the internet. And most of the times, you just gotta do something so unique and just trust your own instinct and not play by the rules. All right, because at the end of the day, we are all just following maybe somebody's um, written rules, we're all just following things that worked. Excuse me. The eight is cold and they're asking for their marketing back, which is what a lot of people are doing. The, the, the customer of today needs you to know their first name, needs you to know their daughter's name, needs you to know their needs, their wants, and exactly how you can get them from A to B. And if you're not embodying your message, if you're not embodying that particular aspect and also knowing that people do grow from where they were to, 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 to where they are right now and their needs change. And if you're not studying the people that are actually giving you the credit card, then I think you've lost it. All right. So it's, it's, it's just one of those things. You We go out there trying to seek credibility, trying to seek knowledge, trying to seek um, all these things that are really high sounding nothings if you ask me, all right? What we really, really need to do is study ourselves, study our clients, study why they're paying us and study why they should pay us a lot more, all right? Stop chasing all these shiny objects and, and expecting quick returns. I put up a post a little bit earlier when I was talking about I really know you're an amazing person, but your get rich quick mentality freaks the hell out of me. Because yes, you might go in, you might have a quick couple of wins, but what's going to happen to you tomorrow? What's going to happen to the customers that you're roping in? Who is going to look after them? Does, does, does it not bother you that these people you're taking money from are going to need you to show up? Does it not bother you? So why are you not really working towards creating a, 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 you know, a, a long-term business? That's the reason why people then lose out on credibility. That's the reason why people lose trust in the market because they're not in it for the long game. All right? The way you do this is you start picking up all the, the successes that you've done with your customers. Look at all the, you know, the case histories or the case studies of the people that you've actually helped and show your now clients that, guys, this is what I've done. This is what can be done. Let's see how personalized we can make of your situation. It doesn't matter what you sell. As long as you have people that can vouch for you and say you're a really good person and because of you, they haven't given up or because of you, they're living a life that's profitable and enjoyable, people will always buy from you. But for you to have that happening, you need to study your current customers. You need to find out their wants, their needs, so that you are always a step ahead and you can provide that for them. That way, my friend, you won't be forgotten. That way, you will never have competition in the market. So 
that in a nutshell will definitely show you that if you are finding it hard to make sales, if you are finding it hard to connect to people, I don't think you're putting in the work. All right, having a lifestyle of you just sitting on the couch and hoping that there will be a, a check that comes in the mail. Show me that business and I'll show you somebody who's lying and playing with themselves. Because what happens is when you're sitting on that couch, they'll come. They'll first come and grab that couch and then they'll come and grab you and put you in an environment where you're not going to hurt yourself, hurt other people and you're going to be straightened out. So you got to put in the work if you really want to get anything out of this, 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 this whole internet thing. All right. So if you really want to stand out, you really want to be credible, show people you can help them by actually helping them and get results or testimonials or case studies from those people. All right. Every person that you help or every solution that you provide out there is literally going to be your next ticket to the next customer. So consider collecting all these case studies like an ongoing project. That then shows that you are not just a one-click wonder. You're actually here to help people solve their problems. You know, sometimes we, we, we put this on ourselves. Yeah? All right? Um, Amber says... It is broken, but still watching. Thank you for adding me. God is good. Get to know your people. Uh, okay. And Sharon says, thank you so much. Great information. Back to work. Well, thank you. We normally go for 30 minutes. So if you've had enough already, that's pretty, pretty amazing. All right. All right. So like I'm saying today, we really want to talk about how you can literally gain credibility by just being awesome and not just following other people because at the end of the day, let me tell you something. What you might see in a group or what you might see as the new and shiny strategy has been tried and tested. So your clients are not seeing something new. You're the only one that hasn't seen it. And that's the reason why most of the things are not working in your business because you're not following your own gut and your own instinct. Yeah? So I get a lot of people asking me, how can I make my startup seem more legitimate or more reputable? And how can I compete with the competition out there and appear larger than I am? First step of doing this, or first step of actually really, really showing your credibility in the market is first of all, having confidence. And you gain confidence by knowing who your customer is. You gain confidence by knowing what the outcome they will get from you is. And you gain confidence by actually knowing your own product. All right. So if you literally believe in your company's long term vision and the potential growth of your own business, your confidence will come through. First of all, the conversations that you have with people. People are tired of one click wonders. All right. You can't get instant credibility. Some people have been working for years and months and they only get to be seen once. All right. So you can't just think that, you know, showing up today is going to give you that credibility. All right. So your own confidence is built through time. And people can tell if you're confident about your results and people can tell if you're confident about what it is that you're offering. All right. And the contacts and the people that you are engaged with are the people that will give you confidence to actually take on more customers. And the more customers you take on, the more testimonials and case studies you can build up. And that way you grow. All right. It takes 21 years to be 21. So stop rushing the process. If you want credibility, if you want people to actually start buying your stuff, you got to have skin in the game. All right. So there's, there's a, there's a few ways that you can actually really, really do this. All right. One of them is to have maybe to start off with a lot of our ad hoc businesses don't even have a website or if they do, it's one of those cookie cutter copy and paste websites. All right. If you have a business that you want people to find credible, to find people that will purchase from you in the long term and people to actually come back for more and tell others about your work, you gotta have a professionally and good looking website. 
All right, it shouldn't be one of those that when somebody goes on there, they're like, oh, I'm a celebrity, get me out of here. All right, anyone who's got or who wants to start a legitimate online business should actually consider having a, a, an easy to use website. You might have, you know, an, a, 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 an online shop selling uh, pens. All right, and in those and in that website, it's difficult to navigate. Or there's constant pop-ups. You annoy the customers, and that takes away your credibility. Theodore, thank you so much for tuning in, buddy. All right, so you want to do things right, otherwise you're just going to be constantly, you know, spinning your tires and not really getting anywhere and losing your credibility in the process. Because people only give you one chance. All right, one chance to impress them. The fact that you are working on your website behind the scenes, all right, and you're always looking at your website, people that are going to be searching for, for some, something to buy from you or something to, 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 to solve their problem, they're not going to be patient until your website loads up. They're not going to be patient until your pictures come up. You got to make sure that all of those things are available and you're also collecting their email address so that you can continuously market to them. Besides that, you, you definitely have no chance in winning in this online space, okay? So, you know, it will be difficult for you to stand out if you are going to be operating from a news feed, but it will be easier for you to operate from an inbox. Small things like that, okay? So, you know, half the time we're probably just rushing to all the waterfalls and not really paying close attention to the things that would actually make us succeed. All right. So it all comes down to really investing in, do I want this business for just today or do I really want this to transcend and to last for a lifetime? So you go in, you look for a really good designer. Even Fiverr is getting better with people that are actually really good at these designs. All right. So you go in and if you're going to be creating a website today, make sure it's something that's going to be relevant in the next 10 years. All right. If you're coming up with a business right now that has been running for the last 10 years, I think you're going to lose out. You know why? Because you're not the first person in the market peddling that product. All right. But if you have been watching some of my videos, you would know that you yourself are a brand, are a product that can then make you into a business that's lucrative and enjoyable. All right. So that's when all the credibility comes in because you're confident enough to talk about your business 24 seven. You're not, you know, cutting corners. You really are doing the best so that your customers get the best. You get the best and everybody else around you enjoys your business and you become profitable. But unless you're just a one click wonder, then maybe that's the reason why you wouldn't even know what it is that you're selling and who needs it and why they should actually pay attention to your message instead of your competition. All right. So the confidence also comes in to you knowing what your exact product is. Sometimes some of these people, when you ask them, what do you sell and who needs it? They don't know what their actual pitch is. You know, as an entrepreneur, you are always pitching to investors, to customers, to potential partners, anyone else that can help your business. All right. And more often than not, these customers may want to hear that pitch six to eight times for them to actually make a logical decision that you are the person that is going to help them. Now, how are you going to instill that credibility in inside their minds or inside their psyche to know that you have the solution they've been looking for. All right. So you need to be confident in how you present your work. You need to craft a very concise and compelling preach, um, you know, um, uh, pitch all the time so that you can practice it over and over and over and over again. That creates credibility. That then instills the trust because people want to do business with those that they know, like, and trust. If you're not showing up for the people, if you're not practicing your pitch, if you're not, um, you know, speaking to them every single day at 2 p.m. for 30 minutes, then how are they going to know you exist? I'm not saying you should do like me, but I was just talking about myself there, that every single day I show up for a reason. All right. The better people know the routine, the more they effective they know that I am the person that can help them with their problems. All right. 
All you got to do is make somebody make that logical decision on their own that, yes, I think Prosper is the person that can help me. That then creates the credibility that you're looking for. That then turns or culminates into, um, you know, real money or currency on the Internet. All right. Some of these things are, are easy to get. You can also get third party validation. All right. Third party validation can come. I've been talking about testimonials. I've been talking about other customers because if you understand what your current customers, why they're paying you and why they constantly come back for more, you can always go in and duplicate those people. You know why? Because you now know exactly how to appease them and you now know exactly how to actually make them happy. All right. I normally work with clients for about eight weeks and um, in the last one week, beginning of, um, of August, I took on seven clients because that's the maximum I can actually work to get effective results. One of them is a fitness instructor and we have already gotten him publicity on, um, you know, mydeal.com.au. You know what that's going to mean for his business? In the first week that we're already working together, he has automatically, you know, known how to pitch his product, knows who his customers are, and he knows exactly who needs his product. And all we're going to do is maximize on that and so that he can get more of that same person. Barbara, thank you so much for tuning in. All right. So if you become serious about your business, you now start getting the attention of, you know, journalists or some sort of publicity. It doesn't have to be mainstream publicity, but it could be people with podcasts, people with vlogs, anything that can introduce you to yet another audience will help you market scale and grow a business that's actually profitable and enjoyable. All right. So if you start putting out articles there from pretty much reputable blogs, uh, newspapers, magazines, this will give your company immediate credibility. All right. Ask yourself right now, why would people think I'm a legitimate business person? Oh, uh, yeah, because I've been seen on CNN, because I've been seen on Channel 9, because I've been seen on this publication. And you can manufacture that by having a concise pitch and having a strategic way of having your message reach a media that goes to a specific market. All right. So like I started in the beginning there and talking about some of these things, you just got to make your own rules and work with what's really, really good for you. I put up a post earlier on and said the internet is making it harder and harder for anybody to be poor these days. Yeah, because how can you say you can't reach out to your customers when there's Facebook Live like this and it's free? When you can write a blog and it's free? When you can shoot a video and put it on YouTube and it's free? All right. So I think maybe if you are serious about your business, you will find a way that will put your message in front of the market that really needs to hear. That way you create the credibility that you need. That way you create the community of people that will continuously share your message, talk about you at a barbecue, and that will make you a lot more money with less struggle. But if you're just dabbling into your business and then just hoping, you know, that uh, something is going to give, well, of course, there's always the chicken and the egg problem. You know, what started? Do I have to start, you know, really looking after my business or do I need money right now? Because if you, if you look at your business with the current mindset that you have, you won't go any further. And your customers will notice that. Then it will stamp your credibility and all of this work would have been in vain. So I pretty much just really suggest that if you can, right? If you really can build as much as you can, grow as many references as you can, grow as many happy customers as you can, and make sure you've got enough credibility and publicity that will help you move forward with your business. All right. It becomes easier when when somebody comes in from a tabloid or some some other different website and says, oh, I saw you wrote about this on this website. So I hope you've got the things that I'm looking for. All right. So as you grow, just make sure you maintain networks of reference. You, you can always use this to close a lot more deals. All right. Many a time in my newsfeed, uh, if somebody has a question about what I do, I just refer them to one of my customers. Yeah, even though you're starting with smaller people or smaller companies, maintain those relationships as references. 
you know, having a few happy customers who are willing to, to, you know, really talk about your services, your product will go a long way than you putting out ads every single day that nobody's looking at. All right. So today, really, I just wanted you to have a different mindset on where exactly are you putting this business? Are you just going to be a one click wonder or do you really, really want to create legacy? All right. In the meantime, if you do come across a hurdle, I have created a way that you can follow so that you know how to engage your, your customers, how to educate them, how to inspire them and provide value so that you have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. You can type in Blueprint if you want a copy of this Blueprint so that you too can actually start earning more money with less struggle. And I really, really want you to start gaining the recognition within your industry that will help you grow, um, scale a business that's actually profitable and enjoyable. Hope this video has been a wonderful one for you. And if you, we can continue the, the conversation and, and the comments below, that will be amazing. If you're just watching us for the first time, thank you so much. You can share this video and I'll see you guys tomorrow again. Have a, have a lovely day.